basically when it comes to the question of where are you going, what are you doing with your life, what is your destiny, choose between one or other of these two. Either it will be absurdity, that is meaninglessness, it doesn't count for anything, you're not going anywhere, the whole world is just some big meaningless accident, or it will be hope. Yeah, I'll wait for your sweet voice. 
Sometimes you gotta run into the arms of danger Sometimes you gotta be the sacrifice Sometimes you gotta say things that don't come easy They say just follow your heart yeah, but what if it lies? God only knows how to play this game called life and living. So hold me, yeah, light a candle in the window pane tonight. Stop me. Well, you know I tried I tried to make you love me And I really should have known Yeah Some people always want Just a little more than the given When it's finally caught well, it loses its life Ooh. God only knows How to play this game Called life and living So hold me, yeah Light a candle in the window pane tonight Stop me Justice bite. One body, one chance, one country at a time, and no rewind button. No rewind. And I dreamed of things I'm yet to be, and of angel wings that carried me 
from suffering and agony to eternity. I dreamed that you were next to me and all your scars refused to be. Well, I dreamed that love and peace had power over fear and bitterness. the sunlight loose and bring us healing and take the swelling down these were years of insurrection of condemnation and disconnection refusing to believe that you paid the tab for me an unhappiness is here to find to know the truth and to stay behind and to burn your invitation to the promised land well i dreamed the dove of peace was chosen over fear and weaponry And I dreamed someone could raise a family Never fearing tragedy And I dreamed I saw a million angels Intercepting evil schemes Well, love and comfort never ending Everlasting images die A lot of the, he writes nearly all the songs. Mm. I write nearly all the songs. Paul Common Trio is the name of the group, sometimes that's abbreviated nice. to PC3, and that's because Paul's the main guy. We I'm the him. main guy. Yeah. He's a good main guy to have. I'm a good main guy to have. <laughs> well, it's a weather, uh, a very light southerly temperature, oh, 70 yeah. degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time he's actually touched the that's that's piece of equipment. Uh, love God and love others. I'm attempting to tune a guitar, something I've been doing for 20 years now. So why do we play music? Love God, love others. Are you authorised to be here? Excuse me? Are you authorised? Yeah. 
We won't have any of this, okay? Are you authorised? Here's a song written after many conversations with people in pubs around Australia. Set me free, yeah. I've no problem believing. Maybe he came and he died for me. But condemnation and judgment, I hate conversation and endless debates. Show me something real, live it in your life. Maybe I'm a fruit hanging on the vine. Do 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 yeah. I'm no problem. Compassion or a little bit of dignity, yeah. But you haven't asked me a question. All you do is you patronize me. Condemnation and judgment, I hate conversation and endless debates. Show me something real, living in your life. Maybe I'm a fruit hanging on the vine. Do 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 do. We're all. God's creation Not just those who agree If we don't love Every heart We make God a lie And we simply justify All the reasons why People don't believe All right, check it out. So this guy says to me, he says, you know, he said, ask those people just to clap in a second, but not right now. He said, gee, they're nice people. He said, you know, I don't, I don't really hate God. I just don't like it when people, you know, assume that I don't know anything just because I don't go to church. I said, that's fair. He said, yeah, they, you know, they, they assume that I know nothing, that I believe in nothing. And we talked for a while and this is pretty much exactly what he said. Well, we sort of made it poetic and we took out some words. what he said of no problem receiving from a God who could set me free of no problem believing maybe it came and it died for me but condemnation and judgment I hate conversation and endless debates sometimes I feel I know more all you crazy people knocking on my door do 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 he said, can you let the people clap with the drums?
Grant Norsworthy, I was asked to define him recently, and this is what I had to say. Grant's sensitive, compassionate, diligent, and has a real eye for detail. Sometimes, too much detail. Too much detail. <laughs> but that's what you want. That's what you want in someone who's like that. Three little guys, special. Drink Baraka. One, two, This is uh, Dip's older and meaner cousin who's looking for something. This is called The One. When I was young, I used to go to everyone just to try to find a love. I had something real. Something I could really feel I tried to feel the blackest hole In this heart of mine I ran and ran around the world To see who I could find Are you the one? The one The one Every time I'd say that I was super fine if you took a look inside oh, You would see The opposite of harmony I was crying for a melody I just needed you to be the song I looked at you, shut the door Maybe I was wrong Are you the one? The one
up a cracker in his gob. He chews it now, nice and slow. He sees a roll and throws away the crackers. He's such a guts, but what a way to go, yeah. Definitely never learned in school. I was sick in bed that day, and so I played your fool. Sick of the seesaw of going up and down. Promise consistency to you in my wedding vow. Call me up, whisper, whisper in my ear. Feel like Another year Y'all stand with us for the last song, come on Fill my cup to the top With running water Call me out Show me how Fill my cup to the top With running water Call me out Show me Without manipulation, shoot from your hip. You'll shock the congregation. Wake me up whenever supper's ready. I break bread and wine, but still I'm feeling so empty. Not tonight. Fill my cup to the top with running water. Call me out and show me how.
Thank you very much. it must have looked to to the aliens if there are aliens and they look down upon Homebush Stadium and they see 110,000 people in there and they look down and think what, what's going on where's the focus <laughs> and they see this guy taking a run up and jumping into sand and everyone going off <laughs> what a strange planet and then they look down and they see in the city of Melbourne, all these people gathered around, a whole little guys riding animals. And the people on the side are jumping and waving their arms and some people tottering over, looking like they can't stand on their feet for some reason, they've got a drink in their hand. And they learn that we spent $100 million on a horse race. You know, it's, it's, it's funny what people get excited about. Some people will go to church 20 years and they're just going to go, yeah, whatever. And they go to a footy game and they become an instant social animal. So I don't think it's too weird if you walk into some sort of church building somewhere and you see all these people with their hands lifted in the air. What are they doing? They're reaching for something bigger than themselves. They're getting as high as they can physically. And they're saying, hey, fill my cup to the top with running water. Call me out, show me how. And I don't, I don't know who you are or where you've come from. But if you wanna reach out for something bigger than football or sand pits or horses, maybe the creator of the universe who made it all. If you wanna do that, Lift your arms up in the air to Him. Just reach up. It's not some psycho spiritual act. It's just vulnerable. It's how humans show they're vulnerable. And don't look at us. Just close your eyes and ask Him to fill your cup. There's nothing weird about it. Entertainment. We're just your worship band here tonight. We're just your worship band. Just ask him to fill it up. And we'll sing hallelujah. Sing it.
Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks for having us. We'll see you next time. Thank you. God bless. What can we say about Phil, Paul? Not much that hasn't already been said. But I think that uh, for someone who hits things for a living, he's a very intelligent man. Matter of fact, he's one of those guys that I think needs the drums because he's, he's so passive that he's got to have somewhere where he gets his aggression out. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Commonly known as Tech Boy. Why? Because he does all sorts of stuff.
it's Jesus himself And I'm always on a missions trip And Jesus plus nothing equals everything Pray, that's the sermon We'll see you next time.
some more material, right? That's right. true. So we had an option of booking out the venue, great venue in Melbourne, Chapel Off Chapel. Yeah. So we locked it in. And then we sent out an invitation saying, this is not necessarily a gig, so to speak, as it is coming to watch us record our live album. And we had two nights of unbelievably enthusiastic friends. Yeah. And we had an excellent time. Brought in uh, Derek Bailey on keyboards. Yeah, who else did we have? Who was it? Adam Lester on guitar. And Adrian Ross from Queensland on Didgeridoo. Wow. Unbelievable. So it was a fantastic time, and uh, I'm going to be showing a few things from that. Chapel off Chapel. Check it out. He's on a rip, but he's a better rider. And the boys will get caught up in the undertow He's on a roll Cause he's a child in nature Take away the water You freeze his soul, yeah And when he's on the big slide He lets his hand trail through the water And then he really feels alive But can't tell me why He feels so close to the water On the beach, and she can see his laughter. He's as free as drunken kisses. Oh, yeah, and she knows this is the boy she's after. Make a little wish, but he only lets the waves disclose. When he's on the big side, he lets his hand trail through the water, and then he really feels alive. It feels so close to the water He's in a dip On a road of danger He'll never love If he can't let go, yeah He's in the grip Of a holy stranger Walking on the water When the sun sets And when he's on the big side He lets his hand trail through the water
He's on a trip, but in a bigger picture, always in the water. Even when he's dry, he takes a sip from living water. Now he's ready for the ride of his life on the big slide. special guest who brought in especially for these two nights. His name is Adrian Ross. We'd like to welcome him now. Adrian Ross, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes 
is realizing There's rebirth in dying Let's clean this up now Engineer So 
should work this out Leave your gift there at the altar, sister says greet each other with a holy kiss, it doesn't mention gender. Phil! Phil! If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're really, really happy. If you're happy and you know, chat. Woo! <laughs> if you're happy and you know, chat. Woo! If you're happy and you know, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know, chat. Woo! Happy and you know it, do or free. You're happy and you know it, do or free. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do or free. Life can get so complicated. You forget what's real and you forget what's good. And they tell you you're educated if you complicate. The simple truth What's it all about? Uh-uh-uh-uh-oh Let's break it down Ooh, yeah, yeah! All you need is a listening ear And a smiling face And a shoulder that you can cry on Come on, brother, do it now A listening ear and a boy And a smiling face Shoulder that you can cry on You can cry on, baby Do you like our silly actions? Do you believe that we'll live forever? Or we'll just go back to the dust we're from When morality's up for 
say, oh, do you still believe in a right and wrong? Yeah, yeah. What's it all about? Oh, 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 oh. Let's break it down. All you need is a listening ear and a smiling face and a shoulder that you can cry on. All you need is a listening ear and a smiling face and a shoulder that you can cry on. You can cry on, baby. But what's with Paul? Hey, I'm playing the guitar. Well, that that strikes me as quite peculiar. (laughs) I'd like to see Paul do that. I can do it. You sing it, okay? Ready? One, two, three. All you need is a listening ear and a smiling face and a shoulder that you can cry on. Personally, I think I can do better. Listening ear, smiling face, shoulder that you can cry on. I think in the same key. This is a song that we really have never played much at all. It's a sad tale of love and of hope.
getting so much shorter And I'm guessing that you're thinking That our best days are behind But I'm a hoping and I'm a praying That it's paranoia And you're still my sweet angel I was in Kenya in February of uh, two, February 2001 and I went uh, over there with World Vision and one of the major reasons was to meet my sponsor child, his name's Muticia. He's a beautiful six-year-old Kenyan boy and meeting him was one of the most incredible moments in my life. And this song was written on a friend's back porch in Nairobi in Kenya and the very first performance of it was to Muticia and his mother and grandmother uh, at a, a safari park a few days after I wrote it, and uh, meeting him was incredible. It really changed my life. And so uh, this song, Africa, is dedicated to the work of World Vision. Africa, I came to change you, but instead you changed me. I confess I came to frame you in a photograph You showed me why You turned this heart around but I see your smile How can it be 
so much brighter than me And your silent eyes They scream of hunger and meaning And eternal dreaming Africa showed me who you turned this mind around I see your hands reach out to God so much higher than ours and your silent eyes Jacques is our sound guy. Is yes. that or is that not true? That is very true. And he's just like, almost like another member of the band. He's an incredible guy and mm. uh, very good at, very, very good at what he does. Very, very good. Very, very good. Mm. We spliced together a little bit of a video vignette about Dave mm. Jacques. Here it is. This is uh, our lighting and sound guy. He's the sound guy. He's the lighting guy. No, it's the other way. It's the other way. It's the sound, oh. sound guy. That's sound right. over here. Yeah. And uh, before this tour, he never would have let a man kiss him. <laughs> he means now. I watch this. Now, I just want you to relax. I can't. Just relax. <laughs> Is it over? <laughs> I felt nothing. <laughs> Dave's excited to be here. I can see, like, see it look in his face. I'm happy to be here today. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, look, they keep me poor. It's just full of paper. Who's driving there? This is one very relaxed sound guy at the end of a long tour. Sunglasses, water. This is one very unstressed sound man. 
This is the Paul Coleman trio, but if you're observant, and I know you are, there are more, <laughs> there, are, there are more than three people on stage in this live footage that you've been watching. Yes. Why is that, Phil? Because we often take a good friend of ours on the road. His name's Adam Lester. Incredible guitarist and singer and songwriter. But Lester also, the jester. Also, he's a bit of a crazy cracker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's two sides to him. There's the virtuoso rock star. But then there's the guy in the tour bus. Check this out. <laughs>
Okay. And we watched and we waited. And we waited and we watched. And our insecurity grew as each day passed. Nobody loves us! Mr. Moth. What's the problem with the guitar? You just never know what you're going to find in a studio. The kitchen, the drink bottle, the phone, the uh... What? It's a little Brianna doll with her little Paul Coleman trio thing. What does this say? Uncle Grant. There he is. Uncle Paul. And what about here? My dad. Boy. Pretty good result if a dad looks like that. I think it sounds incredible. I saw the sky was. Lucy <laughs> are broken people. Get to church in a crooked Yes, this is how you record an album. You don't have many songs, and the songs you have, you don't have all the lyrics, but you've got a, you've got a vibe, you know, the Marbo, the vibe, the constitution. And then you book the studio time, and then the bass player's in the other room recording it while you're working on the lyrics, and it's the fear, the failure, that brings out the creative desire. Come now on. I know that I'm here for life It ain't over and I'm here for life Crimson clothes To this bit. You want me to make it?
going in here, man? This isn't a recording studio. What's going on? Yeah, this is where we make the coffee. The uh, genius is in this room. Oh, that's what we want, mate. Little genius. I want to shrivel up into a seed and start again. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with the music. It's so boring. How can you expect people in the right minds to not see between the cracks? Notice that there's something missing. Wouldn't you agree? Now is the right time to be all that we can.
Does it take a tragedy to bring us all together? Who can change your heart, change your motivation, take it right back to the start? Me. 
Fill my cup to the top of running water Call me out and show me how Come on you lately, come on and rescue me Been at you lately, but I've been more at me Love is a lesson I never learned in school Sick in bed that day, and so I play your fool Sick of the seesaw of going up and down Promise consistency to you in my wedding vow Call me up, whisper in my ear Feel like a calendar from another Without manipulation, shoot from your hip You'll shock the congregation, wake me up Whenever supper's ready, break bread and wine But still I'm feeling empty Fill my cup to the top with running water Call me out and show me Guess what I did in the main street of Launceston? Broke my G-string. Well, you, you actually changed your G-string in Launceston. No, I changed my D. Wild. Oh, I did. In the middle of Launceston. <laughs> it's even more impressive. Life can get so complicated. You forget what's real. You forget what's good. Disciples of Groove 
This is your call to the stage. Dr. Bob and the Amazing Disciples of Bruce. Lip balm?